Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Hoping that that's in focus. Maybe I should try it one more time. Yeah. So I've had a couple of requests from a few a couple of friends of mine. Well, one a close friend that lives nearby. And that was to ladle on the gold once. So I'm going to give that a shot. I see there's something in there that needs to come out. I see some bubbles that I'm going to squash with my spatula. My OXO omelet turning spatula is on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is under the link tree. The link tree is under the video. I don't want too many puddles because I might tip this yet, but I don't think any of this is moving very far. If I spread it out, it will move less far. So there is no plan right yet other than to make puddles and use a palette knife and then maybe a chain or whatever comes to hand, honestly. It could even be swiping. So, I am just gonna give myself permission to free flow and have some fun. That is the Black Maiden acrylic that's on my Amazon link. Hopefully there'll be more of it. Hopefully it's not running out. But I did hear that it seemed like it was. So even though I don't have much of a plan, I'm going to pour some of this white in here. I'm just going to start and keep going until I get something that looks like it might be fun to play with. I don't want to go crazy with the white because the white will often make everything pastel. But the cool thing about the Maiden is that it doesn't eat my favorite color here. And I'm just going to keep... That's the Prussian blue. That was the Venetian blue, which is an iridescent from Modern Masters. Yes, that's right. This was a Prussian blue, probably from Grumbacher. Started as a tube paint. I am just following my instincts. That is a Decorat Americana 24 karat gold, just like the gold we started with, only it has a little bit of orange in it. And I'm just gonna keep playing. And I will be tipping at some point. Or at least that's the way it feels at this exact moment. Let me find the other maiden in the squeeze bottle. Didn't mean to swallow all that. I've never just filled in and the idea is I might like what I do and I could leave it because I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes or I can tip it because I can tip it. I could put chain in there too. I have some berry from Decorate Americana. Let's see how I like that right there. That's not hurting my feelings any. I think I want some red, but I'm a little nervous about red right now because it hasn't served me all that well. Mm. I'd like a brighter red. I think that's my bottom line. And I have an orangey red right here, which will work pretty well. Now, like I said, I could still swipe this. This is a dioxazine purple. I'm just going where I'm inclined. I want some turquoise, some really good turquoise. I 
This is a standby. This has got iridescent pearl fine from Golden in it. But it starts out as a Hobby Lobby brand. Now it looks like I have enough colors to start with, but I'm not sure yet that that's correct. So I'm just going to keep giving myself more. Now at this point, I would love to just put chain in here and see what happens. But if I do that, I'm sort of committed, <laughs> as opposed to being committed. Um, this is a decor, excuse me, this is a folk art neon purple. It usually needs white around it, so I don't know why I did that. Other than to give myself a, an excuse to put white around it. I think I need a whole lot more orange. This particular orange is also Modern Masters, Masters Touch from Hobby Lobby. It occurs to me I have very little hot orchid in there from Color Art. I'm going to want to play with the swipe at least once. And right now, more than anything, I just want to float some of my Venetian blue on that white. It may disappear everywhere else. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Here's some more Prussian blue. So I should take a picture of that <laughs> before it's gone. So I'll just back off. I'll give it a bit of a torch just to release some of the bubbles caught in the paint, like right there. I really think this is my opportunity to find out what chain is going to do. I'm going to grab a scrape dish, if it'll release from the table, <laughs> and a piece of chain. I did say I was going to use my palette knife, didn't I? Okay then, change your plan. Let's try the palette knife. Just move it around from place to place. Who knows what this is going to be like. It's going to be different than everything else though. I can tell you that right now. Still want to use chain. I have a whole bunch of excess. Oh, look at how pretty the tip of my palette knife is. Put some of that right down there. I like scraping off the residuals in a new spot. Or just using a very light touch. Trying not to go so far overboard that I have any regrets, but I need to get rid of the, anything that looks canvassy in the background is a good idea to get rid of. Just 
just going around and around and moving things as I feel fit, as I feel they should go. If I get paint dripping down, I'm going to rub it into my edges. Now after this, I could still use chain. This is a fun experiment. With lots of different color combinations. I love every time I clean off my palette knife on the edge. I cover another surface that I need to cover. And if I don't rub too dark, too hard, then some of the colors will stay. I mostly tap and drag lightly with my finger to cover the edge. Out of my way, you. I think I like doing that. I don't know if they qualify as smears if I'm dragging the tip. But it's definitely fun. There's like definitely some dragon dragon action hiding in all those colors. Got rid of almost all my canvas. And anywhere the mead and black or white are, I'm making beautiful cells. I could even pick up some gold. I know this is not something everyone can do, but I suggest it's art therapy for anyone who wants to try. So when you scrape it off, let it start to drip down over, and then just sort of pull it with your fingertip. The bottom half, whatever hits it. Because it just makes a whole new area of color. Every time you scrape your palette knife off, it's going to attach itself to the paint above. And unless you tell somebody, unless you're admitting something that you don't need to admit, everything is right where it belongs. I am really not sure that chain is going to happen. Maybe, but I'll, maybe I'll do the same thing again in a minute. But there's an awful lot of beautiful cells in there. I do want a torch. There was enough paint. I'm kind of lucky that I figured it out. That side is covered. Yay. Some of the place, some of the puddles of paint that I squeezed on are not getting changed too terribly. But I do use GAC 800 by Golden, as I mentioned, which means that as a pouring medium that keeps things from cracking, it's the perfect, perfect thing to have in your paint if you are using heavy paint. Anywhere I see a little canvas, I will just stick my palette knife in. I think that's pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Um, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying everybody can do this, but I definitely think, as art therapy goes, everybody should try. Just take your time. Go slow. I'm going to be filling in my edge over here. Oh, I want a little more white in there.
They're beautiful colors, and it's really hard to go wrong with beautiful colors. If I have any drippage anywhere, I will fully be utilizing it, I can tell you now. I don't see much in the way of excess. I've got one edge to fix, but I think I'm pretty well done. And uh, I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. And my email address is below the link tree. Under show more, underneath the video, you'll find the paint pouring recipe, my paint pouring recipe. If you're using the Meaden paint, it's my paint pouring recipe and about 2% or even less, start with less, distilled water so that if your paint is mixed up in bottles like mine is, you won't make stinky paint if it sits for a little while. So I gotta thank Nadine for suggesting the gold and I apologize for forgetting the other person that inspired me, but I didn't put any spirals in anyway, so that'll have to be another painting. I'm not sure that was necessary, but I'm not sure it was unnecessary either. So I've got two minutes to tell you guys that I'm run a monthly drawing to help try and keep the studio rolling, and donations help the production of videos. And if you are somebody who can pay, who can donate through PayPal or Patreon, I prefer PayPal, you're automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And the monthly drawing prizes can be seen on the exhibition video on the end screen of any video. I'm just touching up my edges while we chat. And uh, also, I have Amazon links. If you can't support me through donations, then you can definitely support me if you want to through watching longer, watching when the notifications come out, sharing my videos, making a comment. Thank you for all the wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted, by the way. I'm very appreciative of that. I'm going to throw a little bit of gold right out of my bottle, right onto my edge right there, and use whatever's residual on my thumb to just go on down the line, and I will be done in a minute, which is pretty cool for 20 minutes. I'm thinking that I could probably also blow around in there and I know I could lead some skewers through but I like what I have and the way I did it the exception of seeing that canvas that I just got rid of I don't think that's canvas so I love you guys there's over 91,700 today I'm working on 92,000. Every once in a while I keep making mistake with the numbers because I get distracted. So forgive me if I ever say I have more subscribers than I actually do. I'm trying to think positive. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Did I say this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery? I really like your thumbs up. And uh, on the link tree you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Below the link tree you're going to find Teespring clothing, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. Facebook groups are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students, where you can find tomorrow's video, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes, and more. Has all kinds of merchandise at fineartamericanpixels.com. There are Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is also a Facebook group. If you look on my Amazon link, you're going to find my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me. I'm a lot crooked. And I should zoom in. Because there are tremendous cells in there. And you're going to be gone before I can say goodbye again. Around and around and around I try and go. Alright, bye for now. I'll see you anon. Priscilla out. What did I forget? <laughs> I'm not sure. 1800 videos, playlists, check them out, organize.